Reports are stating that Spurs will be hosting a £25 million transfer meeting this week with Torino's sporting director. Burberry have just signed Tottenham Hotspur star Hun Min Son as its new brand ambassador. Four championship clubs are interested in taking Troy Parrott on loan next season. And reports are stating that Spurs are about to appoint a former Iceland international uh, to become our new performance director. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Let's start by talking about Tottenham Hotspur and South Korean star Hun Min Son. Now Burberry have just signed Hun Min Son as its new brand ambassador. The Premier League Golden Boot winner becomes the latest sports star to represent the brand. Burberry has announced that professional footballer Hun Min Son is its latest brand ambassador. The London label has recently worked with Manchester United forward Marcus Rashford on football and fashion work. And now the Tottenham Hotspur striker will become the latest sports star to represent the brand. Burberry's partnership with the 2021-2022 Golden Boot winner has been launched to reflect Burberry's belief in opening spaces and unlocking the power of imagination to push boundaries. Speaking about his new partnership with Burberry, Hun Min Son said, being an athlete from the Premier League, it's my honour to partner with a brand so rich in British heritage. I love Burberry's strife for imagination and innovation, which have been deeply inherited in its history, which are values that I champion. I'm very excited for our newfound journey that we will together develop. A report has just been published by Football League World and they are stating that Middlesbrough, QPR, Swansea and Preston are all interested in Tottenham's Troy Parrott who will be allowed to leave the club on loan this summer. The 20-year-old striker is highly rated at Spurs but he has understandably had to go out on loan to get regular first-team football with his latest spell in League One at MK Dons. That turned out to be a success for the forward as he scored nine goals and registered six assists to help the team to the playoffs although they ultimately lost to Wickham in the semi-final. And Football.London have revealed that the next step in Troy Parrott's development will now be to go to the second tier. And they have claimed that four championship clubs have already made it clear they are keen on doing a deal. The young striker has enhanced his reputation over the international break as he played a key role as Ireland beat Scotland 3-0 in Dublin over the weekend in the Nations League. Troy Parrott scored one and assisted one for Stephen Kelly's side and he is sure to feature as they take on Ukraine tomorrow. Tottenham Hotspur star Dijan Kuliszewski has been asked by journalists whilst on international duty his thoughts on a possible return to the club for Christian Eriksen in the summer. Kuliszewski replied with he would be most welcome. He is an incredible player and a wonderfully good person as well. I know him a little from before but we haven't spoken recently. Now, former Tottenham Hotspur goalkeeper Eric Torsvet, who of course won the FA Cup with Spurs back in 1991, he has been talking about a possible return for Christian Eriksen to Spurs and has said this has been speculated for quite some time and he was very good after he returned to the Premier League. He was a huge contributor to the spring Brentford had. We see that Antonio Conte has a tendency to go back to players he knows from before and even though it took a time before he got into Conte's system at Inter, it was a success in the end. Eric Torsvet then went on to say Tottenham have sometimes struggled to control matches against supposedly worse teams. He is someone who is good at lubricating the system, keeping the ball in the team and will be able to make sure that Tottenham dominate. He has killer passes and a very good set-piece foot. In addition, he loves to play football. The club he gets gets a dedicated player who does not have a giant ego but also does his best for the team. He then added the fans will probably be very happy if he comes back. He has a very high standing and you will not find many fans who have a bad thing to say about Christian Eriksen. I would think that they would all think it would be great to have him back. 
A report has just been published by the Daily Express and they are stating that Spurs to host £25 million transfer meeting this week as Fabio Prasci faces new tests. Tottenham have already been active in the window with Fraser Forster and Ivan Perisic joining. It states that Tottenham are reportedly focusing their efforts on signing a central defender with a meeting planned this week to discuss a possible move for Glayton Bramer. With Spurs returning to the Champions League uh, next season, Antonio Conte wants to bolster his squad in all areas. Improving the centre of defence has long been a top priority for Antonio Conte heading into the summer transfer window. Bremer has emerged as one of the several targets Tottenham are looking at, with Torino said to be asking for a fee in the region of £25 million. The 25-year-old earned rave reviews for his performances in Serie A last season, with Torino at one stage battling for a European qualification spot. His performances saw him pick up the prestigious award for being Serie A's best defender. Bremer is now attracting interest from clubs all over Europe and Tottenham Hotspur are hoping to make the impression on the defender. And according to the publication Tuto Sport, Tottenham will host a meeting in London this week with Torino's sporting director. The main topic of discussion will be surrounding Bremer's future and whether Tottenham can persuade the defender of a move to North London. Fabio Prasci is said to be keen on bringing a defender to Tottenham, but Bremer's preference is reportedly a move to Inter Milan. In the report from the Daily Express, it states it may end up coming down to who is willing to pay the most money. But Inter Milan and Tottenham have already been closely tied in this summer's transfer window. Perisic has made the switch from the San Siro to Tottenham, while Inter defender Alessandro Bastoni is also being linked with a move to Spurs. Inter Milan may currently be leading the race for Bremer's signature, but the sporting director at Torino, Vagnati, uh, recently admitted that any suggestion a deal was close is wide of the mark. He is quoted in saying there's a lot of interest in him, but we will have to decide along with the player what the best move is for him. He then went on to say there is a lot of movement around his situation, which is to be expected. Inter Milan are a big club uh, with a great tradition. Uh, there is a possibility, but to say that Bremer is close to signing for Inter Milan would be an exaggeration. A report has just been published by The Athletic and they are stating that Tottenham have appointed former Everton recruitment chief Steenston as performance director. Tottenham Hotspur have moved to strengthen their backroom operation before the new season by appointing Greta Steenston to a new role as performance director. The former Bolton Wanderers defender was head of recruitment and development at Everton until his exit in December after three years in the position. Steenston is expected to have a wide remit across senior and youth levels in the North London club and work closely with managing director of football Fabio Pratchy. The 40-year-old was second in command to Everton's then director of football Marcel Brands by the time he left, having joined them in 2018 as chief European scout that followed almost four years as technical director at Fleetwood Town. Ex-Iceland international Steenston has a strong reputation in the game and will bolster the Spurs setup following Steve Hitchens' departure from the job of technical performance director. They are also believed to be close to appointing former Manchester City and Anderlecht coach Simon Davies to a senior post in their academy. The former Manchester United midfielder at 48 is well regarded having held a number of prominent titles in City's youth system before moving to Belgium in 2019 alongside Vincent Kompany. Now, my thoughts on all of these stories in this episode. Now, let's start with Spurs to host £25 million transfer meeting this week with Trino's sporting director for Bremer. Um, now, of course, Antonio Conte wants to improve and bolster his defensive options for next season. I've absolutely no doubt that Fabio Prasci will be working extremely hard to get some real quality signings in in this summer window. As I said on the previous episode, we are now a month away from pre-season, our South Korea tour. Uh, so, you know, these signings have got to be coming through the door in the next couple of weeks. I'm very confident that we are going to have a very good summer. Now, many congratulations to Hun Min Son becoming the brand ambassador for Burberry. Uh, the one about Troy Parrott, four championship clubs interested in him. Uh, of course, uh, great development at MK Dons last season. He is flying at the moment for the Republic of Ireland, doing extremely well international level. Now, um, it depends really, because we can use five subs from the start of next season. Um, I would hold off if I was Tottenham uh, about the loan move to a championship club, because we may need someone like Troy Parrott on the bench next season. 
And the story about Spurs to appoint former Iceland international Steenston as our new performance director. Um, of course, any help for Fabio Prasci would be fantastic for the club. And what I'm liking at the moment is there is improvements going on everywhere. Um, a lot of uh, backroom improvements as well. You know, all of us fans only see uh, what's happening on the pitch. But it is also very important as a football club, as a business, uh, as an organisation to have the right clientele in your business and in your football club. So if Tottenham Hotspur can make any improvements off the pitch as well as on it, then of course we have all got to welcome it. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.